going on tech fans welcome back to the channel got some pretty cool stuff going on here at tech of tomorrow now you guys have probably seen the x carve machine because a lot of people out there have had one barnacles has had one al sharian has one charles gant has one there's a lot of guys out there doing a lot of different stuff on it but you know us we're pc stuff so we're gonna be doing a lot of different pc stuff on this x carve now if you don't know at all what an x carve is let me just explain it to you it's basically like a home cnc machine it'll do all kinds of crazy different stuff so if you know what a cnc machine is it's basically a machine that you take computer information you program it into it and then it automatically cuts whatever you're doing so first off i want to thank brian from inventables for giving us the machine awesome stuff it's been kind of an uphill kind of a learning curve for us because we've never actually seen one of these before so getting it all up and going getting it built and everything was a little bit a wee bit on the hard side you definitely have to have some kind of a background in building to put together the machine i mean if you have no technical skills whatsoever i'd suggest finding somebody to either build it for you or you know work closer with the people at inventables because putting it together did take my friend chris quite a bit of time chris thanks a lot for for all your effort man we really appreciate it so our first project that we're going to be doing is building a pc that's right and we want to know what you guys think or what you'd like to see which is pretty much the you know the thing about this video so right now i currently have three ideas in my head we either want to build a pc that's like a board cube like a temple or we were thinking possibly about making one that was like totally like an old school like radio so one of the main purposes for this particular video is I want to get the feel of you guys, the audience, of what you'd like to see. So at the end of the video, I'll have a poll for you guys where you guys can click on and tell me what you guys want to see in the video. But so far, we've had some pretty cool success. Once we got it up and going, we made our mistakes, almost burnt the machine up actually, uh, did a measurement wrong, and the, the, whole, the whole entire thing back we'll show you is actually went in the woods so far, it started almost like a fire. It was crazy, crazy, exciting, but crazy. So we had to fix a little adjustments there. Now on the table right now, we have our first guitar body that we're trying. It's a Fender body. It's going to be a Telecaster. It's coming out pretty well. Now, one of the main things though, that people question out there, and I've even seen it all over the place, is do you need super duper expensive software? There's a software program called Aspire. Now Aspire is super duper high end program for doing everything in the world, but there's a program that comes with the system and it's called ESOL. And you don't actually have to have this expensive Aspire software to do your projects because there are so many projects out there right now that are uninventables and all around the net that you can pretty much find any one of these projects and you can import the files right into ESOL. So ESOL comes free with anything that you buy from Inventable. So if you buy any one of their machines, you're gonna get that software and it's really easy to use. Once you get your machine up and running, it's simply going over the website, opening the program up, sticking in whatever thing that you wanna do and then beginning your carve. Now. As far as doing the carving and everything, it does take a little bit of pre-prep and setup because you have to make sure that everything's in the exact right angle. Because just remember, once that thing starts cutting, it's a little bit too late for you to go, oh shit, I should have measured that better. So preparation, honestly, is probably the number one thing. But the second thing is this easel software is so easy to use. Honestly, once it's set up, I believe that even a high school student or anybody else who has the time to sit and pay attention to what they're doing can use this machine very, very well. And the thing is, with the X-Carve, honestly, you're pretty much un limited now although it won't do like big giant like 3d like statues or anything like a 3d printer will do it'll do pretty much everything else that you would expect you know from from a cnc type machine you can cut out guitar bodies you can cut out signs you can do cutting boards you can do i mean god it's amazing like i saw this guy he has a full business on it, and all he does is make wooden signs for like bars and restaurants on the x car and he has a completely successful business yes i'm saying this for real a completely successful business the dude goes in his garage he gets his accounts 
he cuts it out and he's up and going. So our first project, like I told you guys, is we're gonna be doing a PC challenge. This is just video number one while we're getting up and going. We'll be making another video where we actually challenge other YouTubers and stuff to get involved. And then Inventables will actually probably be sending them a machine so they can get in on the competition. So this is gonna be a really neat thing. So this is just video number one, me introducing you guys to the X-Carve. Now, you guys can see looking at the machine that it's actually pretty simple layout. It's flat, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space as far as height goes. Width goes, it does take up a little bit of a space because the one that we got is actually the largest one that they make. And you guys can see, even on our work table, it takes up quite a bit of room. Now, this is a big old huge eight foot table that we bought and built. Actually, we built it for pretty cheap. 86 bucks total for the parts at Home Depot, so that's not bad at all. But the machine and the PC itself do take up quite a bit of space. Now. Our setup right now, you guys can see, we just have a computer on the desk, we have a monitor on the desk, but that's actually going to be gone in the next few days. I'm going to be getting a full-blown monitor, like a nice big screen, like one of my older TVs, and I'm gonna hook it up to the wall, further cleaning up the, the room on the desk. That way, we can move our other machine, which is called a Carvey, we'll get into that a bit later, so we can put the Carvey machine up here too, so we have both of our machines up here on the table, and then we're gonna mount the computer underneath the desk, so the whole area will be clean. So today's video is basically telling you guys, hey, check it out. Welcome and check out the brand new x car from Inventables. Very cool machine. But I need to know from you guys in the poll that I said, what would you guys like to see built first? Would you guys like to see a computer that looked like a Borg Cube? Would you like to see a computer that kind of looked like that, that hotel in Vegas that has the big pyramid thing? You know, I'm um, forgetting the name. What's it? Yeah, the Luxor, the Luxor. If you guys want one made by Luxor or if you like one to be built like an old school radio. Also, I'll put up another there. And if you guys have different ideas, you're more than welcome to put them down below in the comment section. I definitely want to interact with you guys on this. So please leave a comment, answer the poll, and let me know what you guys want to see because that is our next project coming up. Once we have everything in place, we know what people want. We'll start bringing you guys step-by-step -step videos as we completely build a computer from wood. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get a wooden motherboard, a wooden video card, or any of that stuff. But the case itself, I guess I should probably say wooden case instead of wooden PC. So whatever case that you you guys would like to see us build let us know and then we'll all do our best to bring that to the table for you guys and we're going to get other sites involved like i said in a competition giving them the pc challenge so it'll be like basically a challenge between me and other sites seeing who can actually make the most badass computer out of wood so i'm elric you guys have been watching tech of tomorrow like usual all the information about this video will be down below that like button i hope you guys like this video because i want it to be very interactive and very fun for everybody involved if you don't like the video please if you're going to leave me a dislike tell me why you dislike i'm always learning and i'd like to know what you guys don't like so that i as a person can improve and bring you guys better videos i'm elric you've been watching tech of tomorrow look for more tech and more stuff on the x carve here on the channel